Hey guys, welcome to On Fire Roblox Scripting, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a block, uh, like this, where if you press E, then it will open up a GUI. So let's just get right into it. So the first thing you want to do is go into the View tab and open up Explore and Properties. After that, go into the Model, and you can click on Part, or whatever one you want. Uh, I'm just going to use a part for this demonstration. And then you can you can literally just make it whatever you want. I'm just gonna make it a cube right here. So after you have your part that you want um, us to press E and then open it up with, what you can do next is click on the part. It will be highlighted in the Explorer. Click the plus and enter in a proximity prompt. If you can't find it, go to the search and just type in prox and then it will show up. After that, you can click on the proximity prompt, go into the properties, and here you can uh, you play around with it. So in today's uh, demonstration, I'm going to be using a shop um, from my shop series. Um, so I'm going to use this block to open up that shop. So we can change the action text to open shop. And then the object text to shop. And you can change stuff like the hold duration. So I'm going to change it to 1. Which means that the player has to hold E down for 1 second uh, before anything happens. And then this is the key that we want to do. So it's E. And you can change it to whatever you want but most people just use e so after you have your part and proximity prompt down next up we can go into the replicated storage click the plus and enter in a remote event so what a remote event does is it sends information from the server to the client and it can also send information from the client back to the server and this is how we're going to open our gui uh, so you could leave it as remote event or you can also rename it so i'm going to rename to open gui just like that so once you have the part proximity prompt and your remote event then we can go into the starter gui and you know just make a gui for example it could be something just like a frame but it doesn't really matter as long as you have a frame that we can work with so once you have the gui that you would like to open from pressing e on this block right here what you want to do is uh, go under the screen GUI, click the plus, and enter in a local script. And then what you want to do is just write what I write. So local remote event equals to game dot replicated storage colon wait for child. And then we named um, our remote event open GUI. Um, ignore these. These are just part of the shop. So inside the brackets, we're going to put quotation marks, and then we're going to write open GUI. So make sure that this matches with that. After that, we're going to go down two lines, and then we're going to write remote event dot on client event colon connect function. And then we're going to put brackets and then go down the line. And then we're going to write script dot parent dot shop dot visible equals to true. So make sure that the shop here matches with the name of your frame so for example if your frame name was like frame then you would change shop into frame just like that after all what you want to do is go back into the explorer click on your part and then add in a regular script go back to the local script and copy the first line go into your regular script delete hello world and paste that in go down the line and then write local prox equals to script dot parent dot proximity prompt and then go down two lines and then write prox dot triggered colon connect function put brackets delete one and then write player inside of it after that go down the line and write remote event colon fire client and inside the brackets write player just like that so your script should look something like this and your local script should look something like this these will be in the description for you guys to copy, um, but just make sure that you change the names of like the frame uh, to match your frame under your screen GUI. And that should be the entire thing. So what I'm going to do is go into our shop or frame. I'm going to make it invisible. I'm going to add in a spawn point so I don't have to walk. And we're going to go test it out. As you can see, I'm inside right now. Um, this, is le this leader stats is part of the shop. If we go here, it will say shop and then open shop and then we have to hold E for one second. And you can see our GUI, or in this case the shop, has uh, opened. Um, so every time I press E, then it opens up. 
just like that. And uh, yeah, that'll be it for this tutorial. If you liked it, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And uh, if you would like to know how to make a shop like this, where you can buy stuff from the shop just like that, and you can also set maximum limits and buy other stuff too, then there will be a, a playlist at the end of this video where you can click and watch the four part series on how to do it. And I'll also leave a link in the description down below. Until then, uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!